I'm kind of partial to the lawn. I take care of it. It's like a love-hate relationship. <laughs> looks great. Yeah. Um, it looks great because it's been closed for two weeks. We just did a reseeding. It really, it, I think it gets more foot traffic than any lawn of its size in the city. If we're open over the weekend and we get, we'll get like 80,000 people here. A few weeks ago we had 80,000 people wow. over the weekend. Even if a quarter of them go on the lawn, it's 20,000 people. Um, what seed is it? Well, when it was first laid out, it was sod. And it was um, supposed to be 90% tall fescue, 10% Kentucky bluegrass. I suspect that it had... It was more like 60-40 because of the way bluegrass is. Um, and uh, so then we reseeded it with a 90% fescue, 10% perennial rye. Um, grasses that either grow faster or can take more foot traffic. The bluegrass, although it bounces back, I think it was, it was dying. And I will say I didn't know that, I knew very little about term six months ago. I think it's, I think it's, I mean, the soil is definitely getting compacted, but to be honest, it's not as compacted as it could be. Um, we haven't aerated it yet. Yeah. But we're in the process of purchasing an aerator. Was there a purpose for that? Yeah, it was, it was a reaction to, um, response from the community, you know, when, when section one opened or when the, the design went up, the community said they really wanted a place to be able to sit and relax. So they put in a lawn. It's obviously a different design feel from the rest of the park, um, but in general people really love it. Um, people like fight over for something. Yeah, it's really full in the summer. It's interesting because in, we had a scaffolding up there while this building was going on, and in the summer, everyone hunkered under the shade of the scaffolding. So, I don't know what they're going to do when there's not that shade to sit in. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty hot spot for sunbathing, I think a pretty hot nighttime spot. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it was done in response to, to people saying, we, you know, they, and not everyone just wants to walk for a mile. People want to be able to sit. And so there's also the seating steps. Um, what is this made of? This is all reclaimed teak. This is another thing that was done in response. The first section of the park, all the wood is um, Ipe that was, we got it as certified sustainably harvested. And when the park opened, there was a lot of protests for the use of Ipe. Um, apparently, even though it's certified sustainable, it's not. And it's oftentimes not as sustainable as they say it is. So Friends of the High Line, you know, engaged in conversation with these protesters. And they proposed alternatives. And one of them was this reclaimed teak. So it's nice. It's, a, it's another good, solid, hard wood. Um, Oh, I don't know the first thing about. I mean, it's it's sealed. Maybe that's why. It's like sunny. Yeah. 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 No lichen. Yeah, yeah.